Hi guys, it's uh, Mrs. Tim again, here to teach you about lesson 11-3, estimating products with fractions. Your learning goal, write this down, is to use compatible numbers and rounding to estimate with fractions. An example strategies for estimating fractions. To estimate the product of fractions and mixed numbers, you can round each number to the nearest whole number. For example, if you're looking at 2 and 3 fourths times 4 and 1 half, that would be 3 times 5. If we were to take two wholes and, so there's our decimal, and 3 fourths, you see fourths, when you see fourths you need to think of quarters because you need four quarters to make a dollar so three of those would be 75 cents so you have two and 75 hundredths which a good estimate would be three times four and a half when you have a half always the half is going to be rounded to the next highest whole number so for a half then we're going to round four and a half to five so we have three times five now this next bullet, it says you need to realize, though, that the actual product would be of 2 and 3 fourths times 1 and a half would be less than 15. Why? Because 2 and 3 fourths is less than 3. It's 2.75, 2 and 75 hundredths. And 4 and a half is less than 5. So when you take 3 times 5 and you get 15, please know, though, that your actual answer is going to be less than that. We round it up on both of those fractions. So that's one way. You can estimate the product of fractions and mixed numbers by rounding to the nearest whole number. And that's exactly what we did. So that's one way that you can estimate fractions. And then an example of another way would be when you take a fraction times a whole. To estimate the product of a fraction and a whole number, you should learn to replace the whole number with one similar, with a similar size that is divisible by the denominator of the fraction. So when we look at one third, our denominator is three, and we have times 500. Well, a good compatible number that the denominator can go into would be 600, and it's close to 588. So one third times 600 would be 200. So with this example for estimating, and it says it right here, replace the whole number with one of a similar size that is divisible by a denominator of the fraction. And we'll do some practice ones to kind of help you. Okay, so here's our first practice problem. And it says, Brandon is training for a 15 mile bike race. He started riding a few miles each day. Now he is riding three-fourths of the length of the race each day. About how many miles is Brandon riding each day? So if you remember, we have three-fourths of the length of the race. Well, the length of the race is 15 miles. So three-fourths of 15. And remember, it says about so that means we want to estimate so about how many miles is Brandon riding each day so if you go back to the example remember you want the whole number which is 15 and our denominator is 4 you want to try to round the whole number to a number that is compatible with 4 <clears throat> so push pause and work out the problem, and when you're ready, we'll push play. So, did you write 12 miles each day? If so, fabulous job. This is kind of going to be an example. 3 fourths times 15. One way we can estimate the product of a whole number is to use compatible numbers. Numbers easy to work with using mental math. So, what is a whole number compatible with the denominator that is closest to 15. So 15 is our whole number. What is a compatible number with the denominator that is closest to 15? 
Well, if we look at our multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, ding, 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 16 is very close to 15. So, 1 fourth of 16 equals 4. So, 3 fourths would be 4, 8, 12. So, 3 fourths of 15 would be 12 miles. There's going to be another one. Here's our second practice. Estimate 2 fifths times 16 using compatible numbers. So here we have 2 fifths times 18. Now we want to use compatible numbers. So here is our whole number. Our denominator is 5. So what is a compatible number that is close to 18? So go ahead and push pause and push play when you're ready. Did you write eight? If so, great job. So if you've noticed, we have two fifths times 18. So what is a whole number compatible with the denominator? So we have two fifths times 18. Here's my whole number. What is a compatible number with the denominator that is closest to 18? So we have five, 10, 15, 20. And 20 would be a good compatible number. <clears throat> so it would be 2 fifths times 20. Now, therefore, 5 goes into 20 4 times. And 4 times 2 is equal to 8. So, a good estimate for 2 fifths times 18 is 8. And here's another practice problem. We are going to estimate, sorry, I should have typed that in. We are going to estimate 3 and 3 fourths times 14 and 1 half to the nearest hole for each. So go ahead and push pause and push play when you're ready. Did you write 60? So we had four and a half. Oh, I better go back. I can't remember. What was the problem? Three and three fourths times 14 and a half. Okay. So three and three fourths times 14 and a half. So let's take that off. So, 3 and 3 fourths, if we remember, that would be 3 and 75 hundredths. So, a good estimate for that, of course, would be 4 times 14 and a half. Remember, when you have a half, you always want to round it up to the nearest hole. So, that would be 15. And 4 times 15 equals 60. Hopefully, this is all becoming super easy for you right now. And the next is to challenge yourself. Here we are. Show all your work. Cassidy has 10 feet of string. So that's how much string she has, 10 feet. She uses 5 eighths feet of string for each bracelet she makes. Does she have enough string to make 15 bracelets? Estimate to solve the problem. Then explain how you made your esti estimation. How did you make it? How did you estimate it and why did you choose to estimate the way you did. Show all your work and bring it back tomorrow. You are all done. Congratulations for finishing 11-3 and I will see you in the morning.